in particular Brooks, oh, to get a heavy dose of post-entry passes. Brooks on the defensive end, swatting that one away. One of their best performances in over a decade is Brooks Corrals it. And an open look for R.J. Davis. Count it. 18 to 15, a one possession game. Pass is working, Corey. And once again, Garrison Brooks with his eyes up, seeing across the court, R.J. Davis. Garrison Brooks to the corner. Nice closeout by Spencer Jones, denying the three from Playtech. The fact that Stanford's right there fell down one time, Garrison. Yeah. The Cardinal in position under five minutes. Can they sustain? He post entry pass. Brooks for two. Over the top, the great pass. The power, wow, they the strength, that on the will. balance. Because of their defense, don't you think? No, because North Carolina hasn't been scoring themselves. Maybe because of the defense. Brooks for two and a foul. It's Carolina Please. by three. It is offensive players are the ones that write the history and win the championships. Got that to go in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks and Sharp were both there. Here's Brooks. Nice pass. Low down with Sharp for the easy jump. Play tech. Carolina looking for its first three. Still nothing there, but there's Garrison Brooks. Thanks to the clear out by Dayron Sharp. The preseason ACC player of the year, Garrison Brooks, gets the offensive rebound. Different times, different times, especially for this ball game. Hey, fail, 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 fail. Off the foul against Daniels, Brooks gets his second field goal. Got it on time for Bates right there. High level, a lot of athletes playing at the rim. Wow, this is fun to watch, Wes. Brooks at the other end and one coming. Elite athletes attacking the rim, playing through contact, and a lot of passion on the field. That got taken away by Brooks. Davis, Kessler the dunk. Quarters from Love. He'll push it up to Usher, thinking about a heat check. Now he's going to drive, and Brooks met him at the apex of the leap, and it went out of bounds. Yeah, you see, <laughs> trying to go up and thinking, and Garrison Brooks is like, nah, little fella. It's not going to happen right now. The best thing you can do is dab him up. Right on that shot clock for the Tar Heels, down to three. Brooks off the backboard and in for three. On the arc, where North Carolina has struggled, he's been the one guy they can depend on to knock down a shot. And there is Walton on cue on the nice kick out from Brooks. Nice play right there. Yeah, coming up with a loose ball. Boy, giving away a lot of size on the interior, as we've said all game long. Ties it up. 20 first half points for Buddy Behan. And again, when you have to respect Walt as a three-point shooter, it allows him to attack the closeout for the dribble pull-up. It's not been a normal year, and Leonard Hamilton freely admits he's not as comfortable with his rotation as he usually is at this point of the season. They caught inside and a chance for three. And so these big guys in the lane because they play angles so well. Terrific job of setting that screen and rolling to the basket by Armando Baycott. But if you're not going to get pressure on the passer, they're going to be able to pick you apart. Well, look at the big guys out on the perimeter. Koprovica uh, dribbling out beyond the three-point line and eventually turned it over. And here comes Davis weaving his way through traffic for the layup. Nice touch pass into the corner from Brooks to Walton, and suddenly it's a three-point game. In over a year, December of 2019, I believe, the last time that he played in a game. And that was him feeding Brooks, who gets the bucket. Right down the middle, made a difficult catch, and able to finish that play. Good job by R.J. Davis to pass the ball ahead, and then that's an excellent pass. I mean, I don't, I don't think that Roy Williams wanted both Walker Kessler and Garrison Brooks running right on top of each other. I don't see that often. He's not a volume shooter. He's just an efficient scorer as Baycott and Garrison Brooks continue to dominate the painted area. And now North Carolina can sneak back to single digits. And they do. Dayron Sharp. That ISO opportunity for a guy like Dayron Sharp in the post. You've got to change the angles. That's not going to help you at all. 
That's just Garrison too easy. I'll Brooks on the never, line. I'll never understand how teams score on out-of-bounds underneath. Has not played as much, and Jay has not shot as well this year. Well, one of the reasons he's not played as much is he's not hunting that shot. I mean, he needs to shoot more of those. He made 28 of them last year. Well, Garrison Brooks has played 11 minutes in this ball game. He's got... <laughs> He needs to touch the ball. That's some tough love right there. He touched the ball by going to get it right now. Comes up with a steal. Good pass. Wide open play check. Goes really well on Hurt. It was a great job of reading the vision of the passer, taking that away, and then not charging into Wendell Moore, just stopping. Game. If you're just joining us, stay with it. If you've been with us, you know it's a good game already. Brooks off the inbounds, too easy. And Carolina up by four with a chance to make it five. With the leverage that he gets, just got a little back screen. There wasn't a switch or anything. He just overpowered. They don't foul. They don't turn it over. They shoot it well from three. And so many of the things that you want to be able to lean on and march. Virginia can lean on all of those things. As Garrison Brooks is able to rim one in. <laughs> Not if you had played, they wouldn't have, right? <laughs> Another shot clock violation by the Tar Heels. They take possession. They're oop to Brooks. Yeah, Garrison just putting his head down, running the floor, and getting an easy bucket. Anytime you have a big like that running, it's always good to reward him, um, especially if you're a big. Tar Heels have led for all but 29 seconds of this first half. And Carolina cash in on the turnover. It makes this Louisville team that much more formidable. And a great start for the cards coming out of the halftime locker room. And just like that, now it's a 15-point game. Has missed its first five threes. This is not a good three-point shooting Tar Heel team. This is what they do best. Garrison Brooks gets his first basket. Taking better care of the basketball. That is not the case uh, so far tonight. They've turned it over the last four times. Garrison Brooks does not turn it over. He slams it home his second dunk of the night. Six of his last eight games, only wins in the last month against Butler. North Carolina has been playing well. There's Garrison Brooks. Was the one who drew that foul. Tariel's not a good three-point shooting team. That's why it's so important for Walton to get going from the perimeter, but the senior Brooks trying to carry them. Um, I could not comment on that one because I don't know. <laughs> That's probably my best way to describe that. And now three opportunities for North Carolina on this possession. And if you get this many chances, you're going to score the basketball. I mean, you can shoot 33% and still win the game. And North Carolina shot 39%, won the game. More often than not, it winds up in the wooden column, but more often than not, too, it seems it winds up as a seat squirmer. And regardless, it got interesting. Yeah, and Brooks scores at the bucket, but Syracuse hangs on for a win that will put Jim Beheim's team back on the bubble. Being guarded by Matthew Hurt. Let him touch the ball. Step back jumper and he knocks it down with a shot clock running down. And it's really difficult for North Carolina to run offense. You're going to have to make plays, not run plays. Garrison Brooks had to work really hard to get that shot and he made it.